it's red back in the game another video today we're going to do a story time based when i was in high school and it's basically about some female something through some situation where they was trying to jump me in a movie theater some type of setup setup type type vibes anyways so this is back in high school when i was probably like in ninth or tenth grade and i didn't even know the female and um I barely knew the dude. I was friends with him at the time. It was nothing like overly friendly or nothing like that. Like, if you guys know me, I'm a tomboy. I'm not really a girly girl. I don't really care about hair, nails, makeup, and what somebody else got going on. I don't even care about clothes like that. Like, I really, I don't know. My interests are totally different from what other people's interests are. So, I tend to be friends with dudes more than females and females get too hurt easily like i don't know i'm a very sarcastic person you know i'm really funny i am childlike at heart you know and a lot of females they're not like that at all you guys know what i'm talking about i'm very business motivated um you know basically like i don't be worrying about drama and stuff like that like i'm i'm not the type to sit up here and worry about somebody else or what they got going on or you know what i'm saying something like worry about the past and stuff i'd be worrying about myself and my happiness and i don't know me vibing with dudes i vibe more with dudes than i do with females and it's probably because i got the same interests as dudes you know i like being natural i don't really care for talking about makeup hair and all that i don't really care to look a1 or pretty 24 7 i like to get dirty i like to play paintball i like to go laser tagging i like you know hunting I like fishing, I like wildlife, I like, you know, going outside, you know, I like working out, I like going in trails and woods and stuff like that, you know, like, I'm tomboyish, basically, you guys know what I'm talking about, I know how to skate, like, I know how to do, I know how to skateboard, you guys, I know how to do a lot of stuff, I know how to play football, I know how to play volleyball, you know, I used to be in dance, I used to do gymnastics, I used to do a lot of stuff, and, you know, I wasn't gravitating towards females, I was gravitating towards dudes, so... A lot of people that I went to school with, they probably thought I was this and I was that, or I looked a certain type of way, but they didn't know that I was a tomboy and that what I talk about and what I do is the same thing that dudes that I was, you know, friends with was doing. Like, a lot of females I was friends with, they were too girly girl for me, or, you know, their mind wasn't where my mind was at. Like, their ideas had was nothing close to mine, so it was just a whole different type of vibe and mindset chilling with dudes, so... I had a lot of dude friends more than just having him. So at the time, like, that's why I was just confused. So why the girl wanted to set me up and fight me. Like, I didn't take mine and his relationships not 1% one, 1 seriously at all. Um, but, yeah, I met him in school. Um, he came up to me. He talked to me. Yada, yada, yada. We got each other's kick. Yeah, this was back in kick times. So yeah. whenever um, it was kicking, we only kicked for probably about a day or two or something like that. And that's whenever I got some weird messages saying for us to hang out at the movies. And like I said, like I just got his kick. I don't know him like that. And I'm not the type to hang out with people, especially during that time. Like my people were very strict. So I could not go out wherever I wanted to go. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Um, so I wasn't chilling with him at all, regardless of what he was asking me. But I think I did say I was gonna go and I never replied to him after that because it seemed too forced to me for you to meet me and then like a couple days later you want to hang out with me it seems forced so that's what i was thinking back then regardless but i'm happy that my intuition served me right you guys because um his girlfriend you feel me was friends with my best friend so my best friend came to me and she told me oh she don't know that we're best friends and shit so she came and told me that she was trying to set you up and uh, she was texting you last night saying to go meet at the mall and at the movies and all this type of stuff and how she was gonna set you up and he wasn't even gonna be there and i was like that was my washing machine you guys so i was just like that's crazy as heck like i'm sorry you guys but for somebody to set you up and they don't even know you or your name or even know your relation towards you, you know what I'm saying you're supposed to boyfriend or whatever like what are you doing like I never sent him no flirtatious messages or nothing like I'm the type where I'm platonic if I know I don't want somebody and I know I don't want to be with somebody friends with benefits or not even significant other I know how to you know have people I know how to build a wall basically I know how to let people know they place like most of the people that I don't even talk to no more I cut them off but they sitting over here acting like I cut them off it's just funny so that's why I was like, he didn't know his place and that girl didn't know his place. Like, it's sad that 
Well, whatever he told his girl, it escalated because I was like, you're doing too much. And after that, he never talked to me again. I used to see him in the hallways and he would just act like he wasn't looking at me. And I was like, that's, that's funny. And it was just, I don't know, it was just funny to me overall because the fact that, you know, whatever lies you told your girlfriend, you did too much. And I didn't even want to mess around with you like that. Like, people are crazy to sit here and act like I want to mess around with you. If I never said it out of my mouth, then clearly I don't want to, like, stop having these assumptions of me. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you guys, be wary of um, who you're talking to because people got baggage. And what I mean by baggage is you don't know who else they're talking to or, you know, among or anything like that to where they could have be putting you in extra drama that they got already going on. I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I got better stuff to worry about. Like, I have a house, you guys. I got, um, like, a car. I got a phone, I got a TV, I got Wi-Fi, you know, I got a significant other, I got food in my belly, I got water, you know, I took my shower today, I have my own business, like, I don't have time to sit there and worry about that, like, even back then, like, I was giving money back then, and I didn't care, like, these dudes really thought I cared, and I didn't, like, you know, I just always been doing me, and if you guys know stuff about Aries, about our zodiac, then you know, like, I really don't be caring. I do what I want to do at the end of the day, no matter what somebody got to say. I don't care how you feel. And people be feeling like because you got a reaction towards them that you care how they feel. The only reason why I'm having a reaction towards you is because I'm defending myself. I have every right to sit here and defend myself if you're going off on me. But that doesn't mean that I want your nigga. I don't care. Like, so yeah. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like this video for today. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.